G'day guys, Skits here and welcome to a Nuketown 2025 gameplay. Uh, in this gameplay, I'm using the Vector. I will go through it a bit later on. Uh, but right now, I'm quite busy at the moment with school and everything. I've only got about three weeks left until I'm on holidays, um, the big summer holidays. So uh, please bear with me for these last sort of three weeks or so. I won't be able to get you know the best content out or that much of it. So um, you know, just bear with me as much as you can, please. I'd really appreciate that, guys. But anyway guys, yeah, so as I said, I'm using the Vector, which at the moment is probably my favourite submachine gun. Uh, it's definitely comparable with guns like the MSMC, um, and also the um, PDW, I believe it's called. Um, it's definitely comparable with those two guns. I'm not sure if it's better or not yet. Um, at the moment, it's probably my favourite submachine gun, uh, just because it has such minimal uh, recoil and such high rate of fire. And... Um, You'll notice when you do use it that it is important if you can try and, um, you know, reload as often as you can. So I think I was using, uh, I honestly don't even know what I was using. I think I was using Quick Draw and something else. But, you know, I didn't want to talk about the gameplay because uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, once again, it wasn't the best gameplay, but I was using the Guardian. And I, Guardian, and I can tell you guys that that just gives you a crap load of points. Uh, and that did have quite a lot of fun in this gameplay. But what I wanted to talk about today was a very straight up commentary about Black Ops 2. Is it worth your money? And just my thoughts about the game. I haven't actually made a video regarding uh, what I actually think of the game. I've made a lot of commentaries, you know, talking about how to do things within the game, but I haven't actually made any commentaries regarding what I thought of the game. So I figured this was a pretty good time to actually talk about what I think of the game. It's been out for nearly a week now, and obviously everyone's been playing it a shite load lately. There's just been a ridiculous amount of content on uh, on uh, YouTube and everything. So. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there probably are getting it for Christmas or are planning on getting it for Christmas and I want to tell you, is it worth your money? I want to give you a sort of review on the game, what I think of it and what not. So, firstly, what I want to talk about was um, just how the game plays out, the balancement and what not. Um, straight up, I find that this game is a lot more uh, balanced. Treyarch really wanted to make it a very competitive friendly game. For me, that wasn't necessarily a good thing but it didn't help the gameplay be a lot faster and obviously they've made perks a lot uh, some of them a lot more um, weak and a lot of them a lot more powerful just to sort of compensate between balancement and whatnot which is great and everything and there you can see my guardian unfortunately I died but uh, you'll see it gets me a ton of points but um yeah I don't know I don't know if I like the direction they went in I do like the fact that it's in 2025 it's a new style a lot of new guns and stuff like that but I don't like the fact that uh, it's really, they've really wanted to make it um, towards competitive. They really wanted to make it uh, competitive friendly. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there who do play competitive or a lot of you guys that just don't and just want to play a balanced game would like that. But I really like the way in Black Ops how if you really wanted to and you wanted to just have fun, you could very easily do that. In this game, it's not really a matter of just being able to have fun because it's, it's a lot harder to earn um, point streaks, or sorry, score streaks, they're now called. It went from kill streaks to point streaks to score streaks. But, um, I don't know, a lot of the maps play out very, sort of, I don't know, it's a bit, sort of, it's tough to do really well in this game right now. And I just think it's basically down to the fact that this game has really tried to uh, go towards the players that are competitive or really want to, you know, be serious about the way they play. I just want to have fun when I play COD, so... Something that I wasn't too keen about this game, just the sort of uh, competitive sort of side of it. Um, but don't get me wrong, I do like the, the guns. The guns are all pretty good. They're a lot of fun to use. A lot of guns we've never even seen before that are really a lot of fun to use. Um, the whole leveling up system for me is really good right now. And, um, you know, Treyarch have so far, I mean, PS3 version of this game has been terrible because of the lag. But Treyarch made a patch and so far it hasn't been too bad after that. Um, Pig 10 is a very good system as well. I definitely um, am keen with the fact that you can have, you know, really you can customize this the way you want to play. So I really do like that about the game. Um, a lot of the kill streaks I find are ridiculously overpowered, whereas other ones are quite underpowered. Um, so by that I mean EMP, that's about a what? I think it's a 14 kill streak at least. Uh, 1400 points, sorry. Whereas the load star, which is 1200 points, not that hard to get, is just ridiculous and it just tears up a lot. Um, mostly the maps, I generally enjoy most of them, but there's no standout maps like uh, there were in uh, Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2. Um, so right now the maps, most of them play out quite well. As you can see, I'm playing on Nukestown, which we've all seen before, so nothing new there. But uh, You can see I'm using the Lightning Strike in this game, and I've just found in general that the kill streaks are very, very quick to come in and very powerful. Um, you can see here that I, they come in straight away as, as soon as I put them down and I instantly get kills. So, um, 
although it's you know it's a lot of fun to when when you're doing well. It's one of the games where if you're if you have if there's uh, connection issues or if the other team is playing try hard, uh, then you just won't have that much fun in this game. Now, one thing that I really love about this game is that I found that so far, uh, so far of, of what I've played, it's not too noob friendly. By that I mean, if you're a really crap player, and don't worry if you're really crap because you're not going to do too bad. But if you're a really crap player, you're not instantly going to do well. You know, there's not a lot of easy gun to use at the start. There's not not a lot of sort of easy things to do right at the start. It really takes a while to unlock things and get used to this game. Uh, it really took a while for me to get used to this game. Uh, zombies so far is quite a lot of fun. I uh, didn't want to talk about that too much, but yeah, zombies is a lot of fun. The fact that, as you can see in this gameplay, picking up dog tags and, and capping flags and doing all that stuff gives you so, so much points, and that is really good as well. In general, I'm quite satisfied with this game. Uh, definitely worth your money. Um, you won't be able to just go on and immediately be able to have fun like you would in maybe Black Ops. Uh, you wouldn't just be able to go on and use Blackbird, Chopper Gun and Dogs and just rape. But in the same way, um, it's, it's a balanced, fast-paced game. Nothing crazy in the COD series, like no, nothing revolutionary, but I'm glad that they've taken, um, you know, a future sort of uh, tone into this game that, where, like, the whole theme of it's really different and everything. Um, so in general, yeah, I would definitely recommend you pick up this game. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this, either way, even if I said this uh, game was bad, I'm sure you'd be picking it up anyway. Because that's the thing with new CODs. People just pick them up regardless if... if you know, people recommend that they're bad or recommend that they're amazing. People just pick them up, and that's just the way that it goes with the COD series. So, um, right now, definitely am enjoying this game. A little bit pissed off with the lag that I'm getting, but I'm sure that's just to be expected with early release and whatnot. A um, few things that could need to be, that might need to be addressed later on, but um, nothing crazy. Um, very fast-paced. Uh, a little bit sort of cam-friendly at times, but yeah, definitely uh, worth picking up. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll uh, see you guys later.